Eileen and John made a enormous gift to the Boston Medical Center a number of years ago. It was the largest private donation in hospital history and the largest, and this is important, the largest for addiction medicine in the United States ever. Eileen, with her leadership and her spirit, and John gave $25 million to Boston Medical Center for addiction. <laughs> Through innovative treatment, education, and research programs, the Graken Center for Addiction at Boston Medical Center is committed to making long-term recovery a reality for every patient. Uh, My drinking progressed to a liter of vodka a day. Drugs became part of the picture. My life was characterized by a whole host of bad events, ranging from constant drunk driving, burning myself severely on Thanksgiving, and constantly endangering myself other people and my precious family. I'd always thought of myself as reasonably intelligent and had always relied on my will, power and discipline. However, dealing with this, willpower was useless. I could not stop. For anybody who's ever been in the throes of addiction will understand this. I could not stop no matter what. The centre serves as an umbrella for all BMCs working addiction and has become a national resource for revolutionising addiction treatment and education, replicating best practices and providing policy, advocacy and thought leadership to the field. We are really proud to be developing programmes that specifically help adolescents and young adults, where at present there is the least amount of knowledge and research, despite them being a huge population that are suffering during this crisis. Watching the Graykin Centre fulfil its mission has only made me more ambitious and determined to do more. I am grateful on a daily basis for my sobriety and, you know, I'm completely committed for the rest of my life in trying to improve the care and services of everyone who suffers from this disease. And, you know, my personal plea to you is that when you meet somebody suffering from substance use disorder, see the person, not the disease. This can happen to anyone. Nobody's immune from this.